Welcome back to Looper Automotive Services. Today we're working on a 2016 Hellcat. Slightly modified. It's pushing a little bit over 1100 horsepower. Um, it actually came into us for some exhaust work, which I've already resolved. But while I was in here, I found the drive shaft had a wee bit of a problem. So, before he has a major failure that breaks the back of his transmission off or tears the rear end out of his car when the drive shaft breaks or it money shifts the transmission when the drive shaft breaks because that could happen too. Uh, we decided to build a custom drive shaft for this car. We partnered up with one of our local drive shaft shops and we built a custom aluminum drive shaft for this car. It's a one piece drive shaft instead of a two piece shaft so it'll actually be better for the car especially at the power levels this thing is running. Uh, this drive shaft will hold 1000 horsepower plus and it's a very nice unit. We just got it in today and it's time to install it in the car. I gotta take off eight bolts here, six bolts up front and two bolts on the carrier. We'll get this shaft out of the way and then we will test fit our new shaft, make sure it fits correctly, and see if we have to make any adjustments to the exhaust to clear the bigger diameter drive shaft. So with that, I gotta get to work. Thanks for watching and joining us. We hope you enjoy what we do. When you're when you're doing things with drive shafts, it's really hard to not make shaft jokes all day long. This one's a nice four inch diameter shaft. Big old billet U joints on each side. It's actually a very nice piece. We had about a week turnaround time on this one. This one is for a Challenger Hellcat automatic 2016 and up. We can have these available for you if you choose to uh, give us a call. We can get them built for you in about a week turn turnaround time and we can install them in the shop in a matter of a couple hours depending on exhaust modifications that need to be need need to be done. Alright. Lay that down. <laughs> because I'm not gonna drop the shaft on the floor today. So we got a couple bolts there, a couple bolts there, let's get some tools. Made a mess out of that throwout bearing. Or, uh, it like broke it in pieces. That's awesome. I'm gonna put the bearing locked up or something. Rubber off and out of the yeah. uh, I would guess that the. Yeah, it just gave way at the rubber. The, the, yeah, well, it's bent. So he probably launched it really hard and it distorted it and then it just wobbled itself into pieces. Cause it's all mustered up. Oh well, out with the old, in with the new, as we say. That's what happens when you break stuff. Yeah. It's only money. It's only money. She's melted down. Been hitting against the exhaust for a bit, which is what I actually came in for. This thing probably came out and knocked the exhaust into pieces. And then after I fixed the exhaust, I saw that the drive shaft was broke. So now it's time to build a new drive shaft. Let's see if our new shaft is going to fit. 
eight in the back, front, six in the front. Oh, tire. I had a feeling I was going to have to drop the exhaust through this. Not too surprised. Not too surprised at all. The big question is, am I going to have to modify the exhaust? I don't think I am. Think about that, did I? Yeah, we're gonna need different bolts. Well, that's what happens when you do new stuff. You find out you need other stuff. Hmm, that's gonna be work. So the Chrysler drive shaft with the CVs has these uh, half moon clips on them. And with the new Sonics yokes, we're not going to be able to use these. So, and also the bolts, I'm cutting down the factory bolts because the factory bolts are going to be stronger than anything I have in my bolt bin. And they're the right thread. I basically needed to shorten them 20 millimeters on each one. I dress up the ends and it'll work just fine. Um, I just didn't realize that I wasn't going to be able to use the half moons until I put that on and now I'm going to take them back off. Put it back on with Loctite and six bolts in the front and then we'll cut down the rear bolts, put those into the back and put it back together. But so far it's looking pretty good. I did have to remove the exhaust to drop it down to get the shaft up in there. I'm not going to have any problems with the exhaust hitting, at least on this car, but this one does have muffler deletes, so it should uh, should work out pretty pretty good. I'm pretty happy with the drive shaft so far. Just got a little bit of a learning curve to figure out bolt lengths and components that get reused and components that don't get reused. No big deal, it's all part of the process.
So my front yoke is installed Loctite no half moon clips. The Sonics yokes have a recess for the shouldered bolt seats in. Um, so you don't use the half moons and the bolts you do have to cut down 20 millimeters, um, actually about 22 millimeters to make them flush at the back, full thread contact, um, but giving proper grip strength. The back I have to be a little more precise with my bolts. I mean I want to be precise with them anyway, but in the back I have to be precise because there's a harmonic balancer behind the pinion flange and I don't want to have my bolts bottom into that. So time to trim some more bolts, hook up the back yoke, and then I can put my exhaust back together. So it's time to start my new bolts. Well, my new old bolts. I am reusing my old bolts. I am cutting them down 20 millimeters. There is a recess inside of there, an open cavity, so you want all the bolts to be close to the same length. Actually, you want all the bolts to be the same length. I think I got a burr on that one. I'm gonna run these through a thread chaser just to make sure they're perfect. I'll be right back. All right. Well, my modified bolts are in. Time to tighten these guys down. And then I can put my exhaust back on. Luckily for me, I don't think I'm going to have to make any exhaust modifications. Got plenty of room in this situation. Different cars might have different situations though. Nice. All right, where is my air tool? shafts in. It's a really nice piece. I like it. So I will put my exhaust back on and then we will not take it for a test drive. I'm not going to drive this thing down the road. Um, but I will let you hear it. <laughs> So the shaft itself is seamless 6061 T6 aluminum, which is pretty stout. Ooh, I'm covered in schmutz. Nice billet housing. Billet yoke into a cast yoke. And then the front one. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it because it's dark up in there. There's also a front billet yoke with a cast yoke into a slip joint. Which should work really well for what we're doing here. Let me put this exhaust back together.
here we go. I started to clean all the schmutz off my face and my hands. And we'll make sure nothing else has got any issues. Good there. I don't think we're going to have any problems. Pretty happy with my clearance. If it had the factory resonators in here or the mufflers, more than likely they would need to be modified. But since somebody put straight pipes in this thing a long time ago, we don't need that. Made my life easier. All right, let me clean up and let you hear this thing sing. All right, so that is our thousand plus horsepower drive shaft install for the 2016 up Dodge Challenger. It's a nice piece. We build it locally. It is uh, about a week turnaround from us knowing that you need one. This one we built for this vehicle is specifically for automatic transmission vehicles. If you have a stick shift vehicle, we would need to have a vehicle here so we can properly measure it and then we can have it built. So again, it would be about a week turnaround. Um, but with that said, I called around looking for shafts for these vehicles and it was a five to a 12 week wait from most shops and with all the craziness going on in the world right now we were lucky enough to have have our business partners build us a shaft locally we had it in a week and now this customer is back on the road um, I'm gonna pull this thing out give it a quick test drive make sure the drive shaft feels good ultimately going from a two-piece shaft to a one-piece shaft there should be less driveline loss and it should feel much more firm as far as planning you're not gonna have that softness in the drive drivetrain um looking forward to the test drive i drove i didn't drive it very far before but i, I felt the clunk from the drive shaft and i'm like yeah i don't think i want to drive this and i pulled it in and sure enough the drive shaft's getting ready to come out of the car um so we fixed it now it's time to send it back to the customer hopefully he'll be real happy with it and we will let him test it to see how durable this new shaft is Again, it's a 60, 61 T6 aluminum seamless shaft, um, billet Sonex joints on each side. It's built to withstand 1,000 plus horsepower, so it should be a pretty durable shaft. And uh, all those shaft jokes are going through my head again. So, I'm going to put the camera out behind this thing so you can give it a listen. And then I'm going to take this thing for a quick spin to make sure everything's good. The shaft has been balanced on the when they built it, so I don't foresee any problems as far as balancing or vibrations are concerned. But the lucky part of my day is usually a test drive. <laughs> That's our little bit on 2016 and up Hellcat Challengers. 
Oh, uh, I really do like these cars. They're kind of fun to drive, especially when they're pushing the numbers that this car is. Uh, with our new drive shaft in it, it should handle that power a lot better, get it to the pavement easier. With that, I have to get back to work. There's more work to be done. We do appreciate you watching our shows. Click like, it helps YouTube know that you like our stuff. Comment, we'll be happy to respond to any questions you have. Subscribe to the channel, we're always putting out new stuff, trying to show off some of the cool stuff that goes on behind the scenes in automotive repair shops. Um, this was a pretty neat ride. We were able to do some pretty trick stuff to it. Pretty excited about the new drive shaft. I'm also excited that now that we have the specs for these drive shafts, we can build them. We can basically just build them to order for the specific vehicle. Um, like I said earlier, if you have a stick shift, one of these, we would need to see the vehicle so we can measure it properly, but we can upgrade your shaft and have it built locally in a pretty quick turnaround time. Thanks again for watching. We appreciate you guys. Have a great day. Stay safe out there.